Chapter 8. Rituals and Practices Associated The application of the Kuber Mantra in spiritual practices encompasses a tapestry of rituals and customs that enrich the seeker's connection with wealth and abundance. These rituals, combined with the sacred chant, create an environment conducive to channeling divine energies associated with prosperity. One of the primary rituals associated with the Kuber Mantra involves the establishment of a sacred space or altar. This altar, often adorned with images or idols of Kuber, acts as a focal point for devotion and meditation. It becomes a place for regular chanting and rituals dedicated to invoking wealth and prosperity. Offerings and ceremonies conducted at this altar play a significant role in venerating Kuber. The offering of flowers, incense, sandalwood paste, or traditional lamps signifies reverence and gratitude toward the deity. These acts are not merely ceremonial but are expressions of devotion and respect toward the divine guardian of wealth. Regular prayers, a pivotal part of this practice, reinforce the seeker's connection with Kuber. The prayers are often centered around expressing gratitude for existing blessings and seeking further divine intervention for increased prosperity and well-being. The act of performing Ardi, a traditional Hindu ritual of waving light before the deity, is a common practice associated with the Kuba Mantra. This ritual signifies reverence and devotion, seeking to connect with the divine energies and inviting them into the seeker's life. Another prevalent practice involves the recitation of slokas and hymns dedicated to Kuber. These verses, praising the deity and emphasizing the significance of wealth and abundance, are recited to invite the blessings of the divine treasurer. During auspicious occasions or on specific lunar phases, pujas or special ceremonies dedicated to Kuber are performed. These rituals involve elaborate offerings, including chanting, prayers, and the performance of heavens, sacred fire ceremonies aimed at invoking the divine blessings of wealth and prosperity. The significance of fasting during certain lunar phases, particularly on Ekadashi, is also associated with the practice of the Kuber Mantra. Fasting is seen as a means to purify the mind and body, enhancing the seeker's connection with the divine forces and reinforcing the sincerity and earnestness of the practice. In some traditions, the recitation of the Kuber Mantra is complemented by yentra or sacred geometric diagrams. The use of these mystical diagrams, representing the energy of the deity, amplifies the intensity and effectiveness of the chanting practice, fostering a deeper connection with Kuber's divine energies. Moreover, seeking the guidance of spiritual teachers or gurus for understanding the Kuber Mantra and its practice is considered essential. The guidance of an enlightened mentor aids in deciphering the deeper meanings of the chant and ensures that the seeker is aligning with the practice in a manner that harmonizes with spiritual principles. The culmination of these rituals and practices doesn't merely aim at acquiring material wealth. It steers the seeker towards a path of spiritual elevation, aligning personal growth with the pursuit of prosperity. The rituals provide a framework that nourishes the spiritual and material aspects of life, fostering a holistic approach to abundance. This chapter unfolds the various rituals and practices associated with the Kuber Mantra, guiding readers on the path of inviting divine energies into their lives and creating an environment conducive to wealth and prosperity.